questions to ask for a campaign with the confidence rising. I told WDF don't switch, good times are coming on EFD diving. Fan cams, reactions, watch along, still the pride of London thriving. The Eagles of South they flying, keep your eyes on us, we ain't hiding. This is Eagle Eye Football, the player ratings versus Everton at home. Um, so, Rich, you can start off with Sam Johnston. Uh, I mean, he's conceded three goals, isn't he? Um, I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily say any of it was his fault. Uh, but communication, see, the communication issues, a few points, especially with Mark. Um, I'll give him a five. Minus ten. <laughs> yeah. There's no ratings around here. Minus ten, you lose to Everton. Minus, Minus ten. If not fifty. Minus oh. ten. You would have to say? Nah. <laughs> um, I'll go for Joel Ward. Okay, I missed the first goal, so I don't know what happened. Uh, so I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, but I've been told what happened. So on the basis of that, I thought he did all right. I thought he got further forward uh, more than he normally normally does. I know it's by his, his nose bleeding. Um, I'm going to give him a six. I thought he was all right. Nil, uh, you can have Jochen Manson. Six again for me. I thought it was okay, you know, without being spectacular, without being bad. Obviously, good to see three goals, but his long balls were excellent as normal, but six for me. Nice. JC, Mark Gay. I thought he was all right. I gave him a six. He done that a few times where he was good but the communication issue between him and John Stone let, let them both down a little bit today what a decent game but he can do much better six Rich Ty Mitchell uh, six as well I guess um, I, don't, I don't think he anyone like run past him or anything like that but it's just some of his clearances were a bit off which obviously put us under pressure so I'll give him a six yeah, no fair. Um, I'm going to go for Jefferson Lerma. Uh, I thought he was excellent today. Uh, I think he's. I think in the last few games he might have looked a little bit uh, off it a bit. I think I might have been because of his injury, but I thought he was back on it today. It was excellent. Minus his chance, I maybe I think he should have done a little bit better. But I think he was better than the players we just said. So I'm going to give him a seven. Neil, you can have Will Will Hines. Will Hines. Um, Five for me. I thought he struggled with the whole game um, physically. Um, he was off the pace. He did a little bit better second half, but he wasn't like tenacious in the tackle. Passing very poor. Gave the ball away so much. So many blind passes. Yeah, five for me. JC Ebbs. He's probably got to be man of the match. Probably got to be the highest rating. I give him an eight, but I have to say that the second he got his yellow for. I'm going to call it diving purely because the yellow card stood. I've seen it. I don't think it's a, it's a bit of a iffy one. I'm not sure if it's a dive or not. I need to look at it again. But I think the fact that him after his yellow and then he took out someone where he probably should have been sent off, where he was a bit rash, I have to give him a seven because after that, I don't really think he'd done much until Elise came on. And that was another, what, 50 minutes, 60 minutes since. So, yeah, I give him a seven. Yeah, that's fair. Rich, you can have uh, Jordan Ayew. It was a standard Jordan Ayew performance, I think. Um, I think, first off, I, I feel we could have got the ball to him a lot quicker at times. Up. Yeah, it, mm. he literally was in so much space. I don't know if we were trying to set, like, traps, but it just wasn't working. Like, the switch was on, it never came to him. Um, but he does what he does, works hard, tries to bur burst forward. Um, Lots of crosses with his left foot today. No one's putting him in the back of the net. What can you do? Uh, six. Yeah, fair. Uh, I'm going to go Eddie. Um, I feel like my, I feel like what I'll say might be a bit controversial, but I, I thought he was decent. I thought I, I know a lot of people disagree with me. Um, he he was offside a lot, and there were a couple of occasions where I feel like he could have got his shot off a lot quicker. Having said that, he did score. So I've got to give him credit for that. Um, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a five uh, today. Jeff Schlupp. I knew you were going to say that, Jeffrey Schlupp. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to say six again because th there's a player in there, isn't there? There's a strong player in there. There's many players in there. But, but, but it's obviously yeah, and many pies as well. Um, but 
he just, you know, when he, when he drives forward and he runs with the ball, he's so strong in the ball and he's so quick, but he just doesn't do it, does he? He, but he, he had a couple of little... He's just, the opposite of mine. Yeah, he's a couple of little runs he did, <laughs> but generally he just goes missing as well. So, yeah, standard six for me. Yeah, fair. JC, you can have... I can't remember the order of the subs, but you can have um, Elise. What a... I, I, I wouldn't say what, what a performance, but... What a, what a change. What a change to the game. Just brought excitement into the stadium. It was feeling a bit flat because they just scored again and thinking, now oh, we need to chase the game again now. But just a complete breath of fresh air. Running at players, cutting inside and actually shooting. Like It's exactly what we've missed for a long time. I'm going to give him a six because he wasn't on the pitch for that long. Uh, coming back from injury, but I, I can't fault him. Really, I think he played really well. No, fair enough. Rich, you can have ah- Ahamada. Oh, well, he did better than Mateta when he, when, <laughs> to be fair. I don't even think Mateta touched the ball. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, once again, not, not on not for long. I think, what, 89th minute, I think? Yeah. If I'm was, not mistaken. Yeah. I can't really give him much. I'll give him a, a four. Like, there was some like, bright burst on the left hand side, but that's probably it. Jean Philippe Matata. Where do I begin? I don't think he did touch the ball. I I gotta be honest. I don't think he touched the ball. The guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy next to me said, "I think he'll get two touches of the ball today," and he got none. He hit him with one of those. The player rating categories have become back. I mean, he just didn't do anything. I mean. He's just bold, isn't he? <laughs> He's just so crap. Uh, I'll just give him a four because he didn't do anything. Mm. Didn't do anything terrible. Although we did concede when he was on the pitch. Um, well, he's got nothing to do with him. Yeah, four. Just a question. I know this is a player, really, but was that a mistake to t- take off Eddie at that moment? Because Eddie had just scored as well. No, he, he didn't take him off at that moment, did he? Because Mateta was waiting on the sideline. We watched yeah, it. He scored, and then Mateta sat down for 10 minutes, and then he took him off. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah. oh, Mateta was standing there with a bib, and I thought, like, Mateta was waiting, come on, I forgot to take his bib I was off. I to him, sit down, Mateta, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> um, Neil, you can have Roy Hodgson. Um, Roy, I, I don't think he could have done an awful lot wrong. I thought tactics were quite sound. I think we couldn't match him physically. But what I will mark him down as, I, I didn't see the point in bringing a Hamada on when you got France on the bench. Someone who naturally runs with the ball, you know, and he plays in that as a position. So I thought maybe you'd have given him, give, give him a run until it goes on. You know, youth exuberance. But, um, but all the other subs are fine. I thought the tactics were fine. Obviously, if another team's at muscling you and you haven't got the strength of the team, well, what can you do about it? Nothing you can do about it. But I was going to give him a six. Everybody else will give him today. Yeah, fair enough. JC, you can have the fans. I have to say Drumless. that there is... Um, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do this one for a rating for two halves. Okay. First half, <laughs> we are carried by the HF. I'm sorry, our stadium atmosphere is dead without them. The first half, it was so quiet. Nothing really got going. Even Gladlova was quiet. And you're thinking, come on, man. Apparently, it's an issue with Croydon Council, this, that. Who cares? But they got the drum in the second half. They were loud, and it was much better in the second half. i give it about an eight because, you know, they kept the team going, even though we conceded the late goal. But, yeah, I guess it averages out of a five, doesn't it? Very average day today, wasn't it? <laughs> Today was mid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, these have been the player ratings for the Crystal Palace game versus Everton at home. Thank you for watching and have a good day.